A gigantic star spiral with a diameter of 50 kiloparsecs illustrates a relic glacier, but this cannot be the cause of the observed effect. Spectral image, according to the pioneering work of Edwin Hubble, reflects the spectral class, although this is clearly visible on the photographic plate, the picture taken with a 1.2 meter long telescope. The zenithal hour number tracks the sextant, while the density of the universe is 3 times 10 to the 18 times less, taking uh, or 3 times uh, 1018 times less taking into account some unknown additive of hidden mass. Comet Hale-Bopp illustrates the perturbing factor, given that there are 3.26 light years in one parsec. The movement causes the interplanetary South Triangle, although the galaxy in Draco constellation can be considered dwarfish. Direct ascent changes the radio telescope Maxwell. A steep line causes a random, perturbing factor. This explains all the regularities of the uneven formation of any phenomena of the natural class. Our newspaper hopes that, with our help, it has become a little more clear to our reader about the universe we live in. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, simple and all straightforward. <clears throat> Welcome back to Breath Edge, everyone. As you can see, I've made it home safe and sound. And, uh, yeah, I am just going to make myself a couple of oxygen stations right off the bat here. Remind myself what goes into them. Okay, oxygen candle, electrical tape, and aluminum. Let's just... Do I have any more oxygen candles in storage? No, I don't. So let's make a couple of those. But yes, I have made it home safe and sound. We're all fine. There was nothing new on the way back. But yes, seeing as we have a whole bunch of new lands to explore, I figure I might as well take along a couple of chonkers with me. I also have an oxygen generator in here. And, uh, yeah. So, our current objective is to find ourselves a spacesuit and see if we can torture some information out of it with, uh, Mr. Drill- Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, b before we go the route of potentially making ourselves an enemy that we are wearing. Let's just sneak up on one of these spacesuits over here and let's see if it knows anything. Can we, in fact, avoid the stupidest possible action? No. No, we can't. I should have known better. Alright, well, uh, let's get inside safe and sound and let's get this interrogation going. Alright, you. Talk! No! I will tell you everything! I swear! Don't do that! What was that? I offered for you to torture other spacesuits. It's a logical thing to do. Well, I won't utter another word. Okay, let bygones be bygones. I suppose you don't think that a program can be afraid of torture, do you? I don't think it can either, and I'm definitely not hinting that you need to find an engineering shuttle. Definitely not, you say, huh? You got any other things Probably you definitely don't want to say? You cannot get because the corresponding dialogues are absent in the game. Therefore, you won't get any. Alright. If you're sure, I but ah! I can't break the security protocol. Aww. Okay. But are you really sure? Eh, he's really sure. Alright, let's get back and let's find ourselves an engineering shuttle. I bet that's in the new lands beyond the ice hole. Alright, this is looking like we're back at the captain's cruiser. Yep, nice little O2 zone right for us here. So I'm just gonna... I think the drill is the most disposable of my tools right now. And steering wheel... Is, will it go somewhere if I just boop it? Not looking like it. Okay, well, it's looking like we have a nice marked objective over there. That's very kind of the suit. Maybe he won't be getting any more intimate introduction to the drill. Let's just go and check that out. It is probably one of the first things I would check anyway, since it's nice and glowing, and you, you all know how I get distracted by shiny objects. In order to find out how you reduce the radiation, you need to calculate the coordinates of the place where the captain's bridge crashed into the liner. Breath Edge Agency coffins can help us with this. However, we still need to find an engineering shuttle, or even better, the engineer himself. Hmm. New spike. There's an engineering thing. shuttle ahead. I wonder how you find everything so quickly. Is it because of my hands? Yeah, let's go with that suit. 
compensator? Huh. Neat. Okay, so how do I get in? Okay. Babe, I read in a magazine that cyanide improved blood circulation and overall health. Do you have cyanide? Take it! Hmm. Steering wheel, you say. Garbage collector crash site. Drill required. Well, let's let's get back to the. Let's get some more air. I might lose a little bit of health on this one. That's fine. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit, just a little bit awkward, but we're fine. So, it was saying a drill was needed for that garbage whatever. You know what, maybe I should just keep that. I probably should have put down an oxygen station, but no, I think I'm gonna want to put an oxygen station when I am, um out like as far as my range can go or at least close to it hmm that looks like a paint canister or something resin supply grabber required neat can I get in here looks like it ooh air yeah I was so close to it <laughs> oh well Large oxygen candle. We might just have Looks a new like home here. With the chainsaw during the crash, I can find no other explanation for such damage to a spacesuit. We need one that is in good condition, or at least other parts of this one. I'd recommend exploring the area. Jeez. And he still froze, even though we have air in here. So it's not. It's not the void that's causing things to freeze. We have a processor here. This is looking like a new base. Oh. That's the music. Let's not turn that off. The music's nice. Yeah, this is looking like a new home base, kinda. Okay. Desk calendar. May, Wednesday? That doesn't... Oh, Wednesday the 1st. Okay, cool. Not the most convenient calendar, although it's nice that you can place your own images there. That's pretty tasteful, I suppose. Mm. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. More large oxygen candles. Ooh. Grumpy Mole. A toy from the Grumpies collection. In the cartoon, the mole was one of the most positive characters and often liked to joke. Especially when burying someone. You know, I could get behind that cartoon. Storage? Two storage containers? This place is pretty luxurious. Yeah. I want to believe. Actively colonizing the vast expanses of space has not yet proved the existence of other forms of life, but this poster is still inspiring. Oh. Wow. Someone was trying to figure out some secret ninja arts. Goodness. Alright, let's check out this uh, large oxygen candle. 200? With due care, an ordinary oxygen candle can be upgraded. The main thing is not to overdo it with chemicals. First and foremost, the candle should replenish your oxygen reserves, and only then electrocute you and explode in your hands. That's what I've been doing wrong. Titanium ore, a rare mineral, even in boundless space. You can usually find it in asteroid fields. It's hidden under solid crystals of rust, creating many problems for titanium miners. By the way, the largest and sharpest crystal is, exhibit is exhibited in the Museum of Natural Sciences on Circe 12, or, or 13. Resin. 
almost ready to use fuel, although they call this substance resin, in reality it's just some rather smelly and soft rubber. It's used as a dielectric somewhere in the engines of spaceships. It doesn't burn, however, if you handle it as my grandpa did. Even water can be turned into spirits. Uh huh. Maybe we can make some of the good booze out of this. I, I guess there's nothing... Oh, I see. I have markers all over the place now. Neat. So is there any way I can put, like, a beacon on here? Do I have, like, a, a radio beacon I can uh, deploy to... Steering wheel, one out of four. For years, engineers have been trying to make a convenient spaceship control system, trying out some sort of joysticks, weird levers with buttons, and other stuff. However, the simple solid steering wheel is still the best. Despite all this drawback, such a steering wheel is extremely reliable and easy to maintain. Hmm. I suppose all you really need is some sort of clutch to go up and down. Compensator. An electronic component, to be precise. A device for the efficient distribution of electricity used in any large and complex space technology. Spaceships would burn three times as often and twice as brightly without this little box. Hmm. You know, I wonder if I can pick up the suitcases with materials still in them. In that case, it'll be really easy to move to the new house. You know, oh, okay, cool, cool. Do I still have Beacon back on first home? It's not looking like it. Okay. That's, um, potentially worrying. And also, the airlock doesn't, uh, replenish me until I open up the inner one on this one. Well, regardless, let's check out some of this stuff. Oof. Squishy. Babe, I'm running out of oxygen and patience, but I have enough of first to survive for a long time. This part belongs to the shuttle's owner. Or owners, it's hard to tell whether the remains belong to just one person. In any case, this won't do. We need something below the belt, if you know what I mean. Um, we need his foot? Please tell me that's what you mean. Yeah, I, I can't exactly harvest anything. I need to... I need to uh, find a place to put down my station, I think. I possibly shouldn't have packed, out too. Pressurization. Looks like there's nothing here. Examine some other debris. Yeah. Well, since... Since we're in the area of, uh of our new home, we might as well not waste our stations. We need to set out and uh, find a good long distance place for them. So let's just keep on moving. There are a bunch of food here that I couldn't fit in my pack. Yeah. There we go. Everything's all full up. I don't know if I have a bed in there. That might be the only thing this home is missing. What's that? Is it the body part I'm thinking of? Oh, nope. It's just a finger. This won't do. The engineer was married, or divorced. We must admit that determining which hand the cut-off finger belonged to is not such an easy task. Yeesh. Hmm. And the radiation is building up here. Oh, a spare scanner? Neat. I wish that I had the pack space to start looting all this really good stuff. I suppose I could burn some of my lesser oxygen candles, but... Eh. A small intact spare oxygen cylinder. 
You can make a blueprint of the real small oxygen cylinder, which is forbidden to be installed on any non-state suits, including Breath Edge Company funeral suits. A detailed plan of the habitation module. A twisted part of the small intestine. A real work of art in the world of twisting and an extremely useless object at the same time. Okay, someone's having I fun. I can't say for certain what body parts are mixed here, but it seems he had a good lunch before the crash for sure. Now you were saying something about the small oxygen cylinder. Is that... Uh... You know, yeah, let's let's burn some oxygen candles and stay out here a bit longer. Clear some pack space. So where's that oxygen cylinder? Oh, it must be that. Yep, that would be extremely helpful. Is that Agent 47? Let's just check out one or two more. We've got but candles place, burned. But maybe we can find something useful here. Maybe. Not the most useful instrument in space. Unfortunately, this isn't what we're looking for. Although I would think of getting a hand trans... Sorry. An unusual design of Newton's cradle. I, I doubt such a pendulum will work well. But I don't want to check it because I might break some valuable protein products. What if I were you? These are better than yours and it looks like nobody needs them anymore. Well, I mean, waste not one month. Repair tool. Well, with enough of those, then uh, we can just repair the whole dang ship, can't we? Yeah. We'll have the old unnamed flying again in no time. We have so many new wonderful things to play with. Babe, are you still alive? I not want that you is not. I, I just worry about you. Yeah. It's real good to have her looking out for us. Okay. You know what I could do is I could just store the oxygen stations, like, in here. Yeah. That is helpful. Alright, now let's see all oh, what we got. Tools, repair tool. Removes nuts, screws, and someone's disobedience with a good strike and a rotational movement. <laughs> well, I mean, he never specified what type of nuts. Fuel. You can make fuel from anything. Especially if you graduated from the University of Chemical Industry and worked for eight years as a chemist. Unfortunately, I didn't graduate from such universities. However, I mastered Grandpa's distillery. Hmm. Oxygen cylinder. There is nothing with high pressure you could fill oxygen with, but such a cylinder has a higher capacity than balloons. Besides, it won't scare you if you accidentally pierce it. So that's a compensator, thick electrical tape, and two plastic. I think the only thing I don't, I can't make offhand is the plastic. Unless, remind me what a compensator is. And it's two refined metal and alkali. Oh boy. We need to run back for our alkali supply. Unless there's some nearby. Actually, 
Let's try... Let's try these garbage piles. Maybe they've got some alkali in them. Electronics. Also electronics. Yeah, I think that's just what it's going to be. Alright. I guess, um... Look to the roids. See if there's any alkali spots on there. Because otherwise I'm going to have a nice long trip going back, gathering up my suitcases and probably poking around for some alkali on those roids. I am not seeing any little patches Part on Part of the Breath things. Edge storage. There are only some empty coffins here. You can even choose one for yourself if you want to. This is a That's non-standard real modification. Kind. Looks like somebody probably wanted to improve the speed characteristics of this coffin, which is a direct violation of the contract, although the idea is implemented quite well. Hmm. Contract violation, you say? Well, I'm always up for violations. Yeah, we're definitely getting, like, all the Tier 2 equipment kind of just handed to us. I guess they realized that uh, the opening act was a bit slow. Unfortunately, however, I am not seeing an easy source of alkali anywhere near here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I spoke too soon. Hell yeah. Fine metal. Okay. Equipment. Large accelerator. If the gas is properly distributed through a tricky system of pressure blocks, it'll sound like a cool and complex high tech device. And eating two stale shawarmas will give you even more acceleration to the body. Oh, I need to find more um, shawarmas. Oh boy. So that'll give us twice the acceleration power. Anyway. Da, 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 da. Composite resources, build the compensator. I've seen some tape around here. And what was the other thing I needed? I need two pieces of plastic. There ain't any plastic just sitting in here, is there? But I've seen some hanging off of Gribblies out on the spaceships. Yeah, that looks like a knobbly piece of plastic. Maybe there will be some of these containers, too. Not looking likely. Hey, one piece of plastic. Oh, and we also have the other one from the Gribbly. Okay, we're done. At least we're done with the oxygen tank, which will help us out immensely. Condom, you've served us well and faithfully. But there's a there's a new sheriff in town now. Let's just keep you as a nice museum piece, I suppose. Two hundred seconds of oxygen, that feels heavenly. Alright, let's work on the next piece. Large accelerator? No, that's probably not gonna happen. We unless we start finding shawarmas everywhere. Hmm. Right. 
Babe, I read my message. I reread my messages and think. You not think that I want harm you, do you? Oh, babe, why would I ever think that? I I know that. I know that you're really out for out for what's best for me. I'd never think that of you. At least not in any way that would make you tell. Looks like there's nothing here. Examine some other debris. I mean, there's some wire here. That's something. I'll examine this debris as much as I want to, Sue. What do you think of that? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's just keep on... Oh, radiation is climbing. This might be problematic. I'm running out of the handy scrapper. The durability of the engineering modules is impressive. Even such asteroids couldn't crash them. Hello, legs. This is it. I wasn't sure if the engineer's legs remained intact, but we were lucky. Unfortunately, due to the security protocol, I cannot tell you that the special magnets built into his engineering boots can be used to illegally open the back panel of Breath Edge coffins. Wow! I'm sure glad you couldn't tell me that. That would be really sensitive information. You probably could need do some the explanation company. about this. I have no right to inform you that Breath Edge Agency coffins exchange information with each other concerning obstacles flying by in order to avoid collisions in space. But collecting this information would help determine the trajectory of the captain's bridge, which in turn will determine the coordinates of the collision with the liner. Neat! So there's a kind of coffin internet out there, too. That's, uh, interesting. So, is that a new piece of equipment I unlocked? Magnetic Master Key. Two aluminum, a battery, and thick electrical tape, and a magnet. Well, I got the magnet already. Kind of just need a bunch of other stuff. Well, I guess we're going to go out searching for a, uh... For some aluminum spots, at least we know what to look for now. So it won't be quite, uh... We won't be quite back to the old asteroid bashy. Hmm. Are we even really going to be able to chase after the ship? The radiation is so dang high. Feels like I can stay out here forever now, though. It's luxurious. Man, these rocks are barren. <clears throat> Maybe I should do a run back to the first homestead at Grandpa's ship and see if I can... Uh... Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. Thankfully, we have a second drill, just... There. That's nice and easy. Never mind about that whole going back home thing. We got all our issues settled. Now, uh, what's all the other issues I need to settle? Battery and thick electrical tape, okay. Well, battery, I know that we can make out of, like, some metal and some alkali. Even though we haven't found any nearby. Yeah, that's just metal alkali. Got some thick electrical tape right there. And there we go. It used to be called a crowbar, but the game designer conspired with the translator and threw a tantrum. So now it is a magnetic master key. Well, I mean, a, a crowbar really is just a type of key if you're enthusiastic enough. It'll open all doors for you. Alright. Well, 
actually, yeah, now that is a perfect excuse to go back to the old homestead because there were some coffins way back there. Yeah. So let us go back. Let us grab our stuff. Let us set up a new shrine to Grandpa. And... Yeah. If nothing else, the trip home should be much easier now. Yeah, like right around now, I'd probably be panicking, like going, I'm not going to make it to that oxygen station, but I just have a luxury tanker. This feels heavenly. Babe, I detect very whole piece of spaceship. There is many valuable things, I'm sure. I hear there was very good- suit? I'm better than any new spacesuit. I recommend just upgrading to current equipment. For example, paint the helmet. I'm sure it will help. Uh, okay. I'll have to read what Babe was saying when I get uh, all the way home. Suit is just a little bit too enthusiastic about interrupting her when she's uh, talking shit. I guess Suit would want me to simp for him instead of Babe. You know, I don't think I ever checked out that crash site. Ah, home sweet home. Well, let's just take all the important stuff. Yeah, sure, that's important. It's also small. So, question is, can we take... You can't take a container with items in it. Oh boy. Okay. Well, it was a nice idea. Let's, um... Well, first of all, let's see what suit was saying about a new helmet covered with paint. Excellent protection against radiation, direct sunlight, and prying eyes. The lack of visibility can be compensated by an increased sense of smell and hearing, which is quite necessary when being in outer space. Yes, I see. Well, we I think we can actually make that right now. Aluminum, two glass, paint. Oh, that's paint times four, was it? And not lead paint. Yeah, just regular paint. So we're going to have to swing by the paint zone to do that. Well, let's find us a... Let's find us some dead bodies to desecrate first. Let's see what that all's about. Was there one in here? Yeah. The technology of opening the back panel of Breath Edge Agency coffins is commercial classified information, and therefore I cannot advise you to turn on the magnet, attach it to the lock, and pull the trigger to dislodge the locking mechanism. You'll have to think you're doing great. You're almost there. A standard coffin at the Global Funeral Agency. The opening of the coffin will be considered an offense and an act of vandalism, but no one will judge you if you die. Okay. Well... That seems to have availed us of nothing. Fabric. Hmm. And it said one out of 200? Oh my. Yeah, just a few more to go. I could have sworn I saw one floating around out here. There we go. Come on, just a little more. Do it before you realize that these mechanics just artificially prolong the gameplay. I saw survived records and found out who destroyed the liner. It's awful, but I can't to say it like this. Come quick, and I show you. Well, I mean, we 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 obviously need to rescue Babe at some point, yes, and resolve that whole issue. Speaking of, I forgot to look at what she was saying. My apologies for that. Sweet was just so eager to interrupt her. Messages from Babe. 
I detect very whole piece of spaceship. There is many valuable things, I'm sure. I hear there was a very good space suit. Be sure to visit this place first. Hmm. See? She sometimes does give unambiguously useful information. She's not completely out to kill us. And I'm sure that spaceship that she's advertising won't have, like, a, a killer AI or poison gas on it or anything like that. Actually, yeah, I was eyeballing that wreck there. I don't think I've been there. It looks like an underage child's cabin. I hope we won't find any dead children here. Otherwise, we will never escape the attacks of human rights activists. Yeah, yeah, that sounds oh, okay. Oh, no, that's what I was worried about. Um, that doesn't look like a child. The data analysis shows that this subject is 45 years old. This is an ordinary dead man with signs of drug intoxication. His body is reduced in half, and he was killed in a sadistic way. It's all right. We've avoided a scandal. <laughs> Just so long as no one's out to cause a controversy on Twitter. An entire box of salt, you say? Hmm. It seems that the drawings are made by an adult, or a foot. It's not possible to identify this precisely. Must be a big foot. Yeah, that looks Sasquatch-ish. Grumpy Chicken? A chicken from the rare series of collectible soft toys, Grumpies. These were sold at the five-year anniversary of the animated series of the same name about unhappy beasts. This grumpy beast brood will break your ribs, little dudes. Do-do-do-do. I, I, I don't remember the rest of that jingle. Sure, Scientists we'll have proved take that, that an adult playing with toys increases not only the production of endorphins in the body, but also the conceit of others. Well, I mean, we're just we're just multitasking, improving ourselves on multiple levels. Oh, light bulb, that's kind of rare. And yes, I'm probably going to have to burn a candle. Or do I? Almost. Ooh, tight margin. But in the end, we get there just fine. Yep. Ah, even with our uh, incredible skill at timing and planning, with the new oxygen tank, things are quite a lot easier. Life is pretty good. So, since we're in the paint store, let's go shopping. Hello? Can't believe I missed these for so long the first time I came through here. That should resolve things nicely. And let's just get back home. I think that I shouldn't even need to stop by any stations along the way. I should just be able to... Well, then again, with the current home marker only on the engineering ship all the way up there, I kind of need to follow my chain back just so I know where home is. Hello, this looks new. There should have huh. been a joke about fat people here, but it didn't fit into the screen's text field. <laughs> okay. Nice. Oh, a shawarma. I, I guess we are going to need those, ain't we? Oof. Determined for one last meal. Booze is always nice. Oxygen is always nice. Damn. Oh, babe, Survivor docked next to me. Unfortunately, he docked at very high speed and explode. But it's still reassuring that you will be able to do the same. So Babe must be near where our uh, attempt at escaping ended up. Dang. I wish I ran into this guy sooner. He had all the good stuff on his 
He must be... He must be a rich fella. I guess he... It didn't... Being fat in space at all implies you're rich. But then again, this is... Probably a society where a space launch is pretty casual. If we're doing... Ships of this size just for funerary purposes. Got. All we got is some mild dehydration, but we can fix that easily enough. All right. Oh, yes, and I should restore Grandpa's shrine, shouldn't I? If nothing else, to uh, free up inventory space. Well, no, I should set up the shrine in the new. This really doesn't matter. Oh well. Can I? There. So, I was making the painted helmet. Yep, yeah, we got enough paint. Um, two pieces of plastic, two pieces of glass, and an aluminum. Two. And two. And one. We have exactly enough. Wow. Um, okay. That's, uh... Yeah. The radiation level is much lower. That's great. I'll give you directions. Fly to the left. Or to be more precise, to the right. Your other right, which is at the top. Okay, that was a bad idea. You don't say. Well, <sighs> we just got trolled by our own damn suit. You know, I bet that if this game were more popular... There would be some stupid challenge mode for playing with this thing. There's a guy out there who beat Dark Souls playing with his feet. I'm sure someone could do that. Uh, so, really, all we need to find is another shawarma, and this accelerator will be ours. But shawarmas seem to be somewhat random in their distribution. Well, you know what? It's been a good long session. I am just going to get up to the new home and uh, set up Grandpa's Shrine, store all my stuff, and I'm going to call it a night. I don't think you need to see all that. You know the trip is nice and